town is like. Probably not as colorful. We're not stuck looping around the sun or something, are we? Hey there, Ellie Phillips here. I thought I'd introduce myself over the radio, in case there were any officers who don't know who I am yet. Just so you know, my spooky disembodied voice will be keeping you updated on any random crimes that happen around this place. Why did they even let Frank Honey into the shuttle? It's going to cost a fort at last. No longer will the imaginations of Lego City's people be constrained by something as mundane as gravity. They will look up in wonderment to the stars and the planets, knowing that should they wish, they too can visit them, just as long as they promise to refill the gas tank afterwards. Hello there. We were just thinking about popping up to the lunar surface in our new shuttle. To be honest, I usually prefer to scramble the old atoms and travel by teleporter, but there's no way we could reach the moon that way. Unless, unless we could hook up a massive power source to our te- You need me to build a spaceship? Abigail L. Yates, Paranormal Studies Professional and Ghostbuster, at your service. This will be solved in no time at all. Look at this. Genius!
evil. And look how shiny it is.
This could bring the department to its n- You! Yes, you! I'm putting you on the most high-profile and critically important case that this department has ever had to deal with! Donut tampering! Some despicable fiend has been tampering with the contents of Lego City's donuts. And I need you to get me the evidence to find out who. And by evidence, I mean donuts! I'm the city's foremost expert on donuts, and only my refined palate can track down the perpetrator. Maybe I'll visit Mount Cashmore today, or finally start that petition to get a mountain named after- I'm gonna keep in contact with you via a tiny walkie-talkie, which I snuck into your pocket. Don't bother looking for it, just accept that it's there. Now get me those donuts! In case you're wondering why I'm not out there gathering evidence myself, it's because I'm far too busy trying to come up with a name for the criminal behind this whole scheme. So far, I've got the Donut Delinquent and the Bear Claw Bandit, but I'm sure there's a better option out there. Oh, and the other reason is because I'm your boss! more today, or finally start that petition to get a mountain named after me. Now listen up, how about this? The fried dough felon. Eh? Eh? No? Alright, fine. This is harder than I thought it'd be. This is Frank, honey. I I'd like to order a pizza for delivery, please. What the... What are you doing on this frequency, honey? Chief Dunby? Of course it's me, you dolt. When did you start working at the pizza place? This isn't the pizza place. You're using a police walkie-talkie, not a phone. Oh, okay. I understand. <laughs> So how long is delivery at the moment? Because I'm really hungry. Ah, that's it. I'm coming down there and taking that thing off of you. I don't know why I have to keep babysitting that fool. Hey, you! 
You must have gathered enough evidence by now. Get back to the station! These are terrible. They're obviously the work of uh, <laughs> the jelly-filled jailbird. No? I thought that was one of my, my best efforts. <clears throat> Whatever, just take this. I've got to go find a thesaurus. I'm beginning to wish I hadn't fired our whole PR department now. Hey there! Why isn't anyone visiting Mount Cashmore anymore? Thank you so much. You will forever be known as the person who changed the face of this historical monument. Well, faces. Well, both, really. The metaphorical face and the literal faces. You know what? It's probably simpler if we just don't credit you. Thinking of using a pickaxe to open that thing, then don't bother. I've already busted three of them trying. I reckon it'll take one of them construction worker drills to get this open. Stuck, huh? Don't worry, you're only human. Or maybe some kind of mammal. I can't tell. Not a bad fit at all. Word of advice, if you do wash it, then don't use a tumble dryer, as it's likely to make any dynamite in the pockets explode. just not been the same since his radio broke. And to think it was just one day from retirement. <laughs> oh, that was mighty generous of you. In fact, it was so generous that I decided to go the extra mile and get a slightly higher end model. I know, <laughs> not so much a boom box as a kaboom box, huh? <laughs> boom box. Oh, hey. And seeing as you have paid for most of it, why don't you give it a go yourself? I try again.
I'm not sure, but I think you might have busted those moves beyond repair. <laughs> nice dancing. Dab away, son. Reported in the area. Don't let all oh, those Rex Fury billboards make me so mad. He's a criminal. He shouldn't have advertisements. And don't even get me started on the layout. I knew this would happen. You should once again, the organizers, and I use that term loosely, of the Lego City Ice Cream Festival have caused a brain freeze epidemic. And to make matters worse, they didn't even put up fences this year. So all the casualties ran off in different directions, screaming about their headaches. Think. Oh, thank you. Tell them to get back here and I'll deal with their symptoms. I'll prepare some medical grade warm. I scream because of I. Are you sure they can help me? I won't have to live like this forever? Why does it hurt so much? Did I get ice cream inside my actual brain? There's a nurse? With Coco? Why didn't you say so sooner? to stand around glaring at something before someone does something about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen triple chocolate fudge sundaes was way too many. So why did I eat twenty? <laughs> you say you can stop this pain? Get out of my way! Waiting for. There's people out there in room. Looks like you found all the worst cases. Thanks. Now I just gotta hope they don't drink too much cocoa and get sick from that instead. Here, this is for your trouble. Don't spend it on ice cream. Today, or finally start that petition to get a mountain named after me. Mount Billy Bad. Maybe I'll go get a Papalardo's later. About this, even being super has its limitations. Okay, I'm here. Sorry, but I didn't bring the raptors. Hey there, I dig out some information you might find useful. Don't worry, you can thank me later.
Fellow officers, obviously. So is Rex someone we should be looking up to now? Should I go rob a bank? Is this why everyone tells me I'm too impressionable? I'll just go rob a bank. Hit. Oh, that's much nicer. Now there's someone we can all look up to. Or at least a cross hat because we're all the same height. If I was some kind of amazing parkouring hacker, I'd climb up to the top of those buildings or wherever they control the billboards from and change them to someone way cooler. Yeah. Unfortunately, I know nothing about computers that get to if I can stand on a chair, so it's a bust on both counts. Woohoo! Bye bye, Rex Fury! Yeah! That's more like it. Get rid of stupid old Rex Fury! We're completely sure he can't hear me, right? Huh? How long do we have to stand around glaring at something before someone does something about it? This is beyond appalling! If I was some kind of amazing parkouring hacker, I'd climb up to the top of those buildings or wherever they control the billboards from and change them to someone way cooler. Yeah. Unfortunately, I know nothing about computers and get dizzy if I even stand on a chair, so it's a bust on both counts.
Everything is so close in this city. We got a crime reported in the area. Anyone free to investigate? So is Rex someone we should be looking up to now? Should I go rob a bank? Is this why everyone tells me I'm too impressionable? I'll just go rob a bank! So many sights to see, so little time. can't get through this weird rainbow glass. This makes no sense. If we can get through this rainbow, I promise you there'll be gold at the end. Gateways. spotted in the area. You'll know him when you see him. Or her. It is 2017 after all. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
reported in the area, so keep one or more eyes peeled. <laughs>
If you are delivering computer parts for my scheme, please leave them by the door. If not, then I would be indebted to you if you could forget you heard anything. Thanking you. The chopper pilot is refusing to land unless the H on the helipad is perfectly aligned. Go away! There's nobody home! Um... Bark, bark. I'm a talking dog? I can see you've done this before. That's some nice aligning. I said bark, bark. Don't you know a talking dog when you hear it? more like it. See? Was that so hard? Wait a second. This isn't Times New Roman like I asked. You can have this brick, but I am not happy about it. Ha! Joke's on you. It's not even an age. It worked out cheaper to buy an uppercase I and put it together sideways. Security bypassed. Facility will self-destruct in five years. Well, well. Your arrival is a little premature, but it matters not. For your demise is now a certainty. Blackwell Bot, awaken! <laughs> I forbid it. Not that it matters. Nothing can stop me now. Gosh, I do hope I don't regret saying that. Ah! You meddlesome twerp. Increase the charge to 80% or 16 shillings in old money. Start at 100. It's not as if I ever pay the power bills. Oh, you old fool, Forrest. <sighs> this doesn't bode well. All oh, right, something to help us in our. Well, well, looks like it's a black day for Blackwell. going to turn over a new leaf, Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I think you should...
can you help me out? Jethro's gonna throw a pig at me if he finds out I spilled oil all over his corn. up a tree. Anything you can do about getting the corn to grow, too? You know, while you're helping me out despite owing me nothing. It's a pity this didn't happen last week, as I was driving a tanker full of butter, and that goes really well with corn. Oh, wait. That's the other kind of corn, ain't it? Corn is so confusing. After tonight, no one will ever say at least there's no film crew here, huh? Not like when I did the same thing down at the playground. Now, I'm not saying my spilled oil somehow reversed the passage of time and shrunk those formerly grown corns. That'd be bad. But on the other hand, that's a whole lot of ungrown corn we're looking at. So, yeah. Uh-oh. How am I gonna explain where all the oil went to my bosses? Maybe I can delete the stuff I got left in the water. That'll work, right? You are a lifesaver, buddy. You really pulled my behind out of the fire. Hey, I got something free for helping me out. Mm -hmm. I'll have to keep you safe. Oh. Hmm. I am at the end of my tether. My darn pigs have escaped the game. No, I'm beginning to suspect that they actually like being fired out of cannons. I never should have bought them from that circus. But that ringmaster sure was charming. Still got some pigs out there. Just look for cannons. They seem to like crawling into them. I still got some pigs out there. Just look for cannons. They seem to like crawling into them. Make that weird space age lock over there. You know what I say? There's no lock that can't be blown off with a bundle of dynamite. <laughs> 
It's actually how I lost my job at the lock. Huh? <laughs> uh, that spacesuit looks stellar on you. Interstellar. What the? How did they get in? Didn't anyone turn the little sign around to say hello? So why exactly are they trying to fight me? Do they just not like my cape or something?
take care of you myself. Why won't you just let me rob this place in peace? What am I paying you fools for? Get him! Not very nice, but could still be worse, guy. If we don't get rid of this pain in the neck, then nobody gets paid. Shot! Before you say anything, that was deliberate. I, uh, just want to say anything. And then I'm out of here with enough swag to buy an island. <laughs>
That has got to be the most ironic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you have a spaceship? Me too! Criminal activity reported in the area. Don't let them get away. I'm under control. I was beginning to worry you had lost your way.